Hi guys! This is a short interface overview of the online editor SelfCAD. We will look at the location of all toolbars and basic editor features. After you registered, you will see first screen with all projects. Now we have on the screen button Create new 3D project. Press it and we have a pop-up window with project settings. You can set the project name and workspace settings. Also, you can use the default settings. Now we have tour guide for a new user, which shows basic panels. We close it and consider in more detail. At the top we have a menu. First tab – File. Here we have options for the project. We can create a new one, save it, go back to our projects and see the history. Below are the options for objects. They are logically separated by a divider. We have options Save Objects and Load Objects. The following options allow us to import and export your objects. The Export function is available only when our objects in the stand. Note that by default you have a cube in the stand. Here you can export a file for 3D printing, STL format, PNG for preview, also there are many other available formats. Ok, let's move on. Edit menu tab with basic options about objects, such as delete, copy, isolate and others. The next tab – view for working with the display of objects. We have show, hide, show all, hide all options here. The next feature is reference image. This option allows you to add an image on a plane which is an auxiliary element for modeling or just for convenience. You can stretch the image, rotate and add one more. In order to place your image on other planes, you need to enable them in the settings tab. Next, use workspace settings. Turn on the checkboxes of the other two planes. Then you can change the location of your image. We return our default settings and consider further workspace settings. You can make various settings that will be convenient for your work with. Display in lines, labels, change the color of the panels, the position of the view cube and the orientation of the coordinates, after which you can click apply or return to default settings. Let's go back to the settings tab. We have a Preferences settings, which allows you to set up the project. You can change the default settings. For example, disable adding a basic shape when creating a new project. Max history logs and the editor mode, dark or light. In addition, you can change the units. The next settings item is Camera settings. Here you can specify the exact position of the camera by coordinates, as well as zooming with the mouse. And the view, perspective or orthographic. Close the panel and proceed to the consideration of the top panel. We have a project save status indicator. While you have not done any manipulation with the object, you have a message all changes are saved. After the change, you are informed after what time the project will be saved. This function is automatic by default. As well at the Save Changes button, which means Save Changes Now. Next, on the right side of the screen are user options. First option – Share your object in My Mini Factory. First, you need to register on the site and log in to the editor. Or you can use ready-made objects from this library. This is the next icon, My Mini Factory. Next, Notification icon, which always shows you updates of the version of the editor as well as the top 5 popular objects from the My Mini Factory library. Next, the User icon, which will open a tab with your personal account on the website. Also, we have the Help Center, in which you can find video tutorials, keyboard shortcuts, as well as use the search for frequently asked questions. And the last one is full screen mode, 
of the editor. Below we have a panel with quick access options, such as undo, redo, copy, delete and delete all. The following is the main toolbar. All tools are arranged in logical order of work with 3D models and divided into sections. The first section is Create. Here include basic shapes, as well as more complex primitives. Each of them will be discussed in more detail in the following tutorials. Each tool or shape, when clicked, open the left panel with settings. To accept the settings or cancel, use the corresponding buttons at the top of each panel. Sometimes you will need to confirm or cancel the settings. To the category of creation also refers drawing tools, freehand and 3D sketch. Next category is transformation. This is move, rotate and scale of the object. Next to the transformation category located deformation of an object. We have four of them. Skew, taper, twist and bend. Next is modify. First of tools responds for the whole changing of the objects and its view. Second one responds for changing of the polygonal mesh and making operations with it. They are logically separated by the divider. Next we have boolean operation called stitch and scoop in self-cut editor. This settings responds for interaction with some objects. We have four options here. Union, difference, exclusion and intersection. Category tools includes additional tools which are using with in complex with other features. Next category is utilities, which includes advanced tools for work with objects and polygons. Sculpting mode. This mode will let you work on creating of characters or more complex and creative models. The next feature is image to 3D. This option will let you easily create a three-dimensional object from the image. And the last tool is 3D Print, which prepares your object for 3D printing and generating special G-code for 3D printers. This panel also have option Find tool. You need only start writing the name of the tool or option which you need to open and you will see options of the search. After choosing one of the tools or options, editor will automatically open the tool. So, again about the user flow. By the location of the tools, you first create an object, after transform it, deform it and modify it, use in combination different tools, after that prepare it for 3D printing. Next what I will tell about is Rotation Cube and Workspace. Rotation Cube let you change camera view and also view of the workspace. Additional options are Home button, choosing specific camera tool such rotation camera, pan camera and zoom camera and also perspective selection or orthographic display, what I have been talking about earlier in camera settings. In workspace you can also rotate, zoom or move the plane with mouse or a touchpad. Let's have a look at the right panel. First are object selection modes. With the help of the interactive rectangle, you will switch between polygons, we have two polygons and faces options, edges and vertices. All of the modes have additional settings which opens in the panel on the left side, as all of the tools by clicking on icon selection settings. Next we have our additional selection tools. Mercury selection, inverse and cube selection. Lower we have a panel with object view modes. Mesh mode wireframe, mesh plus wireframe and smooth mode. Next panel which responds for the appearance of objects. We have color, material and opacity. And the last panel with objects. 
All your models and profiles are displayed here. You can see option of fast object searching when you have a lot of objects. In addition, you can see their number and how much is selected. Object selection can be performed in workspace or in object panel. Settings icon include lock, hide and isolate options. After you have applied one of the options, it is displayed on your object in the panel. To remove the lock, for example, you just click on the lock. It was a short video overview of the self-cut editor. More detailed video tutorials on each tool and options you can find on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching!